Well, Pines family, I am excited to say that we will be regathering for worship live here in our sanctuary on June 21st at 1045. It's going to be a good time for all of us to be together again and worship as a family. But we understand though that there are some folks who don't feel comfortable just yet joining us for worship in person. And that is perfectly okay. We want you to be safe first and foremost. And we actually encourage you to stay at home until you feel comfortable and this virus has uh, taken a, a downward turn. So do what's best for you and your family. Uh, that's what's going to be best for you. Our interim associate pastor, Cindy Mood, and I, we're going to walk you through what to expect as we gather back together for worship on the 21st. We ask that you park and enter the church building from the west bow entrance. However, if you have limited mobility, please do park and enter from the Kimberly Lane entrance so that there will be people to assist you. Greeters, however you arrive, will meet you at the door to welcome you into the sanctuary and inform you of all of our guidelines. In an effort to show love to our neighbors, the wearing of a mask is highly encouraged and appreciated if you are medically able. Extra masks will be available in case you do forget yours. We do ask that even though you are wearing a mask, please adhere to physical distancing practices while on campus. It is highly encouraged and appreciated for the safety of our Pines family members. As you enter those doors from the west bow side, you're going to see some signs of hand sanitizing stations and some pump uh, hand sanitizer available for you. Go ahead and feel free to use that whenever you need to. And as you walk by the name badge area, please make sure that you pick up your name badge and wear it during worship. We're going to tell you more about your name badges in just a little bit. What you'll not see along the Fellowship Hall hallway is time for coffee and for snacks. We're not going to be doing that right now until we feel it's a more appropriate time and a safer time for us to be able to have coffee fellowship. Friends, I know that those of you with young family members might be used to bringing them down the Sunday school hallway and bringing them into the nursery. At this time, the nursery will remain closed. We ask all the rest of you to respect the fact that families will be bringing their children into worship with us. All of the children's wiggles and giggles are the Holy Spirit moving through them. Please welcome them with open arms as Jesus would. Families, there will be worship bags available for you to take, use in worship, and to take home to use as a family. My Sunday school um, ideas for you to do at home with your family will still be available as well as story time online. The playground will also be open during worship for you to use at your convenience. Understand though that we are not maintaining regular sanitation, so please use at your own risk. Well, as you enter the sanctuary, you're going to notice that a few things are different. You're going to notice that there is blue tape marking off several of the pews. That's so that we can maintain our physical distance during worship. When you enter the sanctuary, you're going to be greeted by an usher. That usher will not give you a bulletin, but what they will do is to escort you to a pew so that we can maintain our physical distance. Everything that you're going to need for worship is going to be up on our screens, whether it be liturgy or hymns or whatever it is, you will see on the screens. There will be no pew Bibles, there will be no hymnals, and no, other friend, and no friendship pads in our pews as well, just so that we can maintain a clean atmosphere for you to be safe in as you worship. It is easy to feel comfortable when you get to your pew, but we do ask that you maintain your mask on your face at all times, even while singing hymns. This is because hymn singing often is one of the worst ways that we can expose ourselves to the coronavirus. In order to protect you and your friends worshiping with you, please wear your mask at all times. You may notice that we do not have a time for the offering in the service, but we do have offering baskets at the exit of each door. When your usher escorts you from your pew to leave the sanctuary, please drop your offering in the basket. So as you leave the sanctuary, we ask that you please take your name tag and place it in ver some very specially marked baskets so that we can make sure we know who is here on this very special Sunday. And we're gonna do that each week since we're not passing our friendship pads. When you enter the narthex, you're gonna notice that, that Cindy and I aren't in our normal places to greet you and to say goodbye to you, but we will be out here to say goodbye, but just from a distance. Friends, I know that this is gonna be an awkward time for all of us as we gather back together, but the session feels that if we maintain these guidelines, we will be able to worship together for a long time. Your safety 
and your health are the most important things to us. So as we gather back together again, please follow these guidelines so that we can worship our living God in some exciting ways. And remember, we will maintain our ability to watch worship on live, live streaming each Sunday at 1045. May you have a blessed day. Be safe, and I look forward to seeing you soon.